So we have another screencast. Welcome to another screencast. This is Jess Wismar just talking to you a little bit about the applications that are available on the school laptops here at BHS. Um, something to remember is that you are not just limited to these fun little icons down at the bottom of the screen, though most of the most important applications and most used applications are going to be at the bottom of the screen. Um, you also have other applications you can use. So let's find our applications folder. There are multi multiple ways to find your applications folder. First way, you can use a finder window. You can go new finder window. You can open it either here or here. You can open one up over here too. And then you can see right on the side, there's this little link that says applications. Here are all your applications. Another way to access that is you can open up your hard drive and go into the applications folder this way. And yet another way is just to type applications up in the spotlight and you'll see inside the folder right here. You can open that up and again we are in our applications folder. So here we notice we've got all sorts of applications. Something to remember when you go into a finder window is that there are multiple ways to view the screen. You can look at tiles, you can look at a list, you can look at a more extension so that you can actually kind of see where each thing is. You can go this way and you can look at tiles. You can, let's go back over here and get back into our applications folder, okay? You can also do what's called cover flow, and cover flow is kind of cool. You can scroll through things and see them this way, okay? I kind of usually like looking at it just like tiles. It's kind of the easiest way to look at it. So, some of the applications you might want to take a look at are things we will be mentioning or have mentioned, which include things like Dropbox, another way of cloud storage, Evernote, always a very useful Web 2.0 tool, um, a place to store notes and all of that, and also um, files. Occasionally you might want to use it for that. Um, we'll talk more about this program later on. You can also find things like the Kindle application, in case you want to sync your Kindle library, which is from Amazon. You can look at Jing, which is a screencasting tool. You can use that. You can go to Notes. Notes is a really simple kind of jot down kind of ideas program. You can use something that people don't use a lot but can be very helpful, Real Player Converter, that can help you convert file types from one thing to another. So in case a student sends you something in a file type that you don't think you can use, you can sometimes change it into a file you want this way. You can also use zamzar.com, which is z-a-m-z-a-r.com, also very similar, converting kind of things for you. You can open QuickTime, which is how I'm making this screencast using QuickTime Player. Um, you can use stickies. Stickies are kind of cool. Let's take a look at them. You could see I just made like a test one, but if I make this, I'll say test two. And you can change the color of your sticky note. You could make it purple, you could make it blue, you could make it green. And they're just like having post-it notes up on your screen. So um, w whenever you have this program open, these will show up. You can hide them by pressing Command H. That's to hide your sticky notes. You'll see it's still open down at the bottom of my page though. So all I'd have to do is click on it and there it is, Command H to hide. Um, and there, there are all sorts of other programs you can use. Another one people might know is Skype, things like that. What I encourage you to do is explore um, the applications folder. Kind of get a feel for what else might be available in here. There are a lot of things you might not know about and that aren't just down here on the toolbar. These are usually just the most used things um, that we have down on the toolbar. There are so many other things that we have. And something to remember is if you have a program that you really want to have installed on your computer, 
Um, you need to just talk to IT about that. Uh, if it's something that you validly use regularly, they might be able to install it or they might be able to add it to next year's image. And the image is just what puts all these different applications onto your computer. So you just want to contact IT about that um, and you might be able to add something else. You can see there is a lot available on here. So please make use of it and feel free to explore. If you have questions, please contact me, contact IT, um, and ask questions. All right. Thank you.